Uh, let's tell you about another stock trend that's under pressure in today's trading session, Ramco Cements. Now, there are three big reasons why the stock is under pressure. One is there are weak results that came out. They've announced aggressive capex when their debt is not very uh, uh, you know, low. And also valuations are not cheap. Let's run you through the first data point. Well, the results, they were weakish. Sales volumes a little bit lower. You had some unseasonal rains that hit them. And also demand was weak in pockets of East India. So that explains the sales volumes number. You also had the EBITDA number. Well, that came in 10% low in comparison to what we were working with. They've also given us some commentary that the way ahead, cement prices are under some pressure during the current period under review. And they've said that the blended fuel consumption cost could come down by around 5 to $10. So pricing has not come back, which is unnatural, actually, in the quarter four. Next up, the new capacity that they've announced. They've said a couple of their capacities, both on the clinker as well as on the cement side, they'll go up. Their estimated project cost for this expansion is on 1,250 crores. And the aggregate uh, you know, capacity by FY26 will be around 19 million tons of clinker and 26 million tons of cement. So that they'll have an integrated facility of around 26 million tons. Or that's 3 to 4 million tons higher than what it is as of now. The problem is CAPEX, yes, but debt is close to 5,000 crores. So the street is a little bit skeptical on that. And finally, valuation-wise, not very, very cheap. Trades at around 15 times EV per a bit. On an EV per ton, at around 135 to around $140 per ton. So if you put all that together, the stock is under pressure. But Prakash, what do you think? Ramco Cement, it has this tendency when it gets into a period of out or underperformance, it gets a little bit prolonged. Uh, your view on the stock? 